My name is BC Adewale, your family coach. I'm really excited you are watching this video. Thank you. I will be talking to you today about seven people that can ruin your marriage. Seven people that can ruin your marriage. The first person that can ruin your marriage, that person is you. You can ruin your marriage by your action, by your inaction, by your lack of affection, by your communication. Oh, you can ruin your marriage by your association. That is why you must mind your action, you must mind your reaction, you must mind your communication, you must mind your affection. That affection must be toward God and toward your spouse. If there's anybody that can easily ruin your marriage, that person is you. So please be careful. Be careful so that you will not ruin your marriage. The second person that can ruin your marriage is your spouse. That is why you have to do everything to make sure that your spouse grows with you. Your spouse does not go astray. You have to do everything to make sure that your, your spouse does not think wrongly. You must be very careful that you build together, you grow together. You can't grow your marriage alone. If your spouse says that marriage will be ruined, it is all over truly. But if she's standing or he's standing with you, you can build a very solid and fire marriage. Number three, your advisors. Your advisors. Many of you, when you have problem in marriage, you go and consult people who are not trained counselors. When you consult people who are not counselors to counsel you about marriage, you know what they are going to give you? They will give you marriage advice. A marriage advice is it can be based on the pain of the person talking to you. You know what? <laughs> Don't trust any woman. No. Don't trust any woman. Don't trust any woman. I remember when I trusted my wife about 17 years ago. This is what she did. This is what the person is advising you based on his or her pain. The pain in which you are not party to. But if he is a truly trained counselor, even if he has pain, he will train you based on his knowledge and expertise. That is why don't go to marry advisors. If your pastor is not a trained counselor, don't go to him for counseling. For he can only train you, he can only counsel you based on his pains. He can also I, I, I counsel you based on his experience and it can be a nasty experience. So, be careful. Your marriage advisors can destroy your marriage. Number four, your in-laws. If you don't create a very good boundary between your in-law and manage it well with your spouse, they can ruin your marriage. Number five, are bad friends. Bad friends can ruin your marriage anytime, any day. If you bring them in, they can push you out. That is why you must be very careful about the people you call your friends. Another, another set of people that can ruin your marriage are your children. Children are supposed to be a blessing in marriage. They're supposed to help you build. But you see, if you turn your attention toward your children and you abandon your spouse, you can lose your marriage in the process. So. Your children must not be at the center of your marriage. Your children should be a plug, plug into your marriage. Your children, you should be, uh, uh, the, you, you should be the center focus of, of, of you, of, of each other, you and your spouse. And your children should find places to fit in themselves. That's how you can make marriage work. If you allow the children to rule, they can ruin your marriage. Number seven, People that can ruin your marriage are vultures. Vultures always eat carcass. And when you allow vultures into your marriage, they, we, they can destroy that marriage. And what does that one mean? Who are the vultures? Vultures are those people who are speaking negatively of their own spouses in your presence. When somebody is talking that men are bad, men are bad because of our own experience with our own husband. Before you begin to, before you notice, 
Before you notice it, you begin to feel that men are bad, or your women are bad. That is a vulture in your life. Or somebody encouraging you to have a, a, a girlfriend, boyfriend outside is a vulture in your life. Somebody that is teaching you negatively to hurt or beat or abuse your spouse is a vulture in your life. Be careful about vulture. Another person, other people that can destroy your marriage are your exes. If you were having boyfriend and girlfriend before, and now you are married and you are still connected to your ex. Oh, the ex can ruin your marriage. You don't do it. Let your ex be your past tense. Let your ex be your past tense. Don't ever go back. Disconnect with your ex wherever you have been connecting with. You've been connected with him or her on Twitter, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, if possible, block the number and disconnect totally and fake the person you marry. Don't say I didn't want you. And on no occasion will you ever beg for money or support from your ex. On no occasion, don't ever try to do it. This can ruin your marriage. Thank you and God bless you for joining me in this video. I appreciate you. See you in the next video.